First of all, I, I want to thank everyone, the Marginum of this beautiful 24 uh, hour global Fabrengen. I'm sure it will be certainly be Pale Um Speaking now, I imagine there aren't going to be any chidush on the day. Everything was probably repeated. I was on last night in the beginning and a little bit now, and I see that Bemis, there's nothing really left to say. But Bechosais, like the Rebbe used to repeat himself again and again and again. So Ein Karben Dominion in us. The Rebbe would repeat himself the same time by Fabregen, Eretz HaKedosh, Beis HaMikdash, Baneinu, Bebnei Seinu, everything. Mamish, Nochamol, 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 Biz in Yiddish, as they say, Biz in the Gidere Marayim, Biz in the Kishke Sarayim. So we have to continuously say it to ourselves again and again, just like we do the mitzvahs again and again, and just like we have certain Yem the Pagodas that we have again and again and again. Watching the clip that was just uh, played by the thing just brought back to my memories because the the, the chassidim that were by those fabrengans actually couldn't hear what the Rebbe was telling the people that would go over to the Rebbe. However, all those that were watching those fabrengans live on cable television, we were able to hear the Rebbe speaking to those people. So some of these conversations, I even remember live, just to mention just one, I remember there was a, as a friend of mine, I know him, he runs, I think, uh, Kids Chitas for Kids. His name is Menachem Mendel Hecht. He went over to the Rebbe. I watched this live. His father, or his, with someone, brought him over to the Rebbe. I remember watching this as a kid or as a bocher, a young bocher. And he introduced him to the Rebbe. His name is Menachem Mendel. And the Rebbe said, Menachem Mendel? That's my name. I still remember that Adah Yim said it's, There's a video of it. So reminding myself of these Fabrengans and the Rebbe speaking to people also brought us a tremendous inspiration, a tremendous insiders. When we were by the Rebbe. Everyone is discussing the Indian of Chof Ches Nisen. I was, um, I wouldn't say young bocher, but I was a bocher in yeshiva at the time. I don't remember if it was a chiddush that we were there by Maidiv or not. I don't remember what time Maidiv was. Um, but we were there by that Maidiv and the sudden sikhe, when the Rebbe turned around and said that sikhe. And I'm going to express, I'm sure, what everyone else expressed. Um, we were in total shak, behele, literally, from the sprach, from the words that the Rebbe used by that sikhe. Tut alz was rikent, tichel giton alz was rikent, kendel hevel vladik, the words that we were never used to hearing, and the Rebbe did speak sometimes Sharfe Werter throughout the years by Fabrengen, but such words were a big, big chiddush. In fact, in the Tzatlach, beyond the Sikha, after the Sikha, the Rebbe even referred to the Sikha himself, even once by Fabrengen, I think, as the Sikha Hayodua, Harizel Tainosi. Someone wrote to the Rebbe something about why Mashiach is not here. The Rebbe wrote Harizel Tainosi. This was my tiny by Sikha Hayodua. The Rebbe wrote Bixav Yodi in the famous Sikha. This also by the Rebbe was considered a famous Sikha to give us a chsidim ashokul, to give us a tracel, to give us, to wake us up, that we also have to start actually thinking and doing what we're able to do. The truth is, if you break down the Sikha, there are two parts to the Sikha, and I don't mean the beginning part in the Hemshech. I mean, even in the part where the Rebbe spoke very sharp about Mashiach, there are two parts to the Sikha. One part of the Sikha, where the Rebbe says, Tut kent, Mashiach. Do whatever you could. Talk to people. Ain't that sway? Did I? I not shun him. Eid is the tail. Kalem, the tikkun, the aces that the Rebbe used. But there was another Nakuda that the Rebbe said, which I think if we analyze and think about this Nakuda, that could assist us, like Gamri, to be able to tut altsvosir kent to bring a Mashiach. And I'm sure this was discussed. There's no Shaila Bedover. I'm just reiterating the obvious. The Rebbe said, "Vi, how could it be as his recht, as heim by nacht zom Mashiach nishkumen and morgen zom Mashiach nishkumen? How is it possible that it's okay by a yid, by a chosid, that it's regular, normal, that Mashiach should chas v'sholem not come tonight, not come today, and not come tomorrow? The elam kiminogi noy. That has nothing to do with two thousand was it can't and zetar of bringing Mashiach. This issue as his recht, that's the yisoid." Of the whole issue that the Rebbe was giving us at Reisel. But the Rebbe was telling us that's not the problem. It has to krich in your kishkis. The Mashiach is not here. And if we get into our kishkis, the Mashiach is not here. Then Avade, two thousand was you can't. Was that the Rebbe bringing Mashiach? On the way down from the steps, I'm sure this was discussed. You could even see it a little bit on the video. The Rebbe turned to one of the famous chassidim. 
And the Rebbe said, him, said to him four words, which expresses this nekude mamish kelei al asayra. The Rebbe told him on the way down, le'inoga v'le'pogra. The Rebbe was telling him that after all the diburim, what's the problem? What's the issue? As lo'inoga v'le'pogra, that it doesn't give us the tracel. We were then at the time, we were, we were, we were in such shock that we were really worried about it's hanging that we're worried about how come Mashiach is not here. But the bottom line, we're worried about what is this that the Rebbe is getting so upset? What can we do now to, to make the Rebbe happy, so to speak? That was most of the sprach that was going on. Bishas Maise, if I remember, a whole night in 770, there were Fabrengans and and all those in Yonim. But at the end of the day, if that's all it is, which is very good, and Halavaya, Fabla Yiddish, that it should bother us, was bothered the Rebbe without a question. But if that's all it is, then it didn't get into our kishkes. That Moshiach is not here. Come tonight. The Rebbe wanted it to become unzer inyan. Even if you're going to say it's like oyev mashah ohov oyev, but at least it has to become our zach. Once it becomes our zach, that's a whole other ballgame. Then we can really, really think about doing untun alts was mirkenen to zen arabering Moshiach. How do we know what Mashiach is? Although there's a settle from the Rebbe, famous settle that the Rebbe writes, I've been dreaming and thinking about a Melech and about Mashiach and all the tzoros of Klal Yisrael should finish. But when you learn Chassidus and the Rebbe is my modern Be'ikir, when you learn about Mashiach, it's about the Gilui Alekuz Ba'olam. Because in truth, most or many, not all, but many personal tzoros if you have emes and bitochen and amun and the ebishter, the ebishter could solve them without mashbiyah some mashiach. Yeshua Hashem ke had a fine. And Baruch Hashem, the ebishter shows nisim, and the ebishter should continue and will continue to show nisim gluim to those that need it. Sometimes we feel, we don't think the ebishter has enough koyach to change our situation, and that's why we need mashiach. There are certain things that are ba'ovar, obviously cannot be changed unless mashiach comes. But certain sodas, we just feel that, that that's impossible to be changed. So it's really a very limited kuk Mashiach. The Rebbe's kuk Mashiach, if you learn the Rebbe's memorim, tifer, and tifer, and tifer, and tifer, and kemeit says, chomeret mitzrayim, and then if lois, is about the tremendous gilio likus that we're waiting for in the world for Mashiach to come. And what the Rebbe wants, I believe, is that this nekuda is always getting an emise, emise tresel, an emise, emise shokul. And if you give us an emes, emes, a shogel, then we could sit down to start to figure out two thousand what you can. Shvi Yishal Pesach was Kriyas Yamsuf. The Sikhat actually that just came out from, from Lahak, Achan Shal Pesach, Tovshin, Lambed Hay. The Rebbe says there, the Chedek Aleph, the Rebbe says there, very interesting word. The Rebbe brings Rashi in Pasha Shlach, which is a steer to Rashi um, by the story of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, where Rashi says, why do we have Shemayin Nechutim on the Tzitzis? We have Shemayin Nechutim on the Tzitzis, as a remez for the eight days from when the Eden went out of Mitzrayim until they said Shira. And the Rebbe brings out it that Be'emes on Achren Shal Pesach, according to this Medrash, which is a stira, Medrash is Chalukis, they said the Eden said Shira and Achren Shal Pesach. So although it's true, the Friedrich Rebbe says Tachir, that the Yomim Deshenim is for Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim and the Yom Machrenim of Pesach, we celebrate Bias and Moshiach. But Be'emes in truth, Sa'i Yom Tavrish and Shriya Shal Pesach and Achren Shal Pesach, according to this Rashi, the Rebbe quotes, has a Shaykhis. To actually to create Yamsov and the Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, but we can learn this as a lesson also of the way we're supposed to act and expect Mashiach to come. There's a sikhah where the Rebbe asked the famous Kash in the early Krochim of the Kutusikhis, but the Rebbe says, How is it possible based on the Gemara and Saita, which every kid knows how Kriyas Yamsov happened, and Nachshem and Aminodov went into the water, and the water went up all the way to his neck, and Chmonel uh, he almost drowned. And that's when the Eidushta split the Yamsa. The Shail is, how did an Achshem and Aminodim have the right al din to go on Mesiris Nefesh? There's a Machloikis if the Yidin at that time had a din of a Benoyach or a Yid. By a Benoyach, there's a Machloikis if the Mitzvah Mesiris Nefesh or not. So the Chedi, you could bring a Raya from Nachshem and Aminodov that a Benoyach is Mitzvah Mesiris Nefesh. But the other Shite won't stim. According to the Shite, the Benoyach is not allowed to go on Mesiris Nefesh. How was Nachshem and Aminodov, how did he go on Mesiris Nefesh? And if he had a din of a Yid, the Rebbe brings us in a few sikhs that even the Yiddish shaft kilo of Klal Yisrael at the time could only be l'chumre and not l'kula. The Rebbe brings us the Gabi Yankiv of Vino marrying two sisters, even though Abdina Ben Neyach, he had to, he probably, the Rebbe brings, but the point is, 
that it's only the chumrah, not lakula. So if a ben neich is not allowed to go on the sidus nefesh, so even if the yidin had a din also of yidin, and nachshem ben amrod had a din of yisro, he wasn't allowed to go on the sidus nefesh. So what's the pshat? And the Rebbe doesn't give an answer. The Rebbe says, oh, but ain't zach. When the Eibishter says you have to get to the other side of the Yamsuf in order to get to Har Sinai, to be Mekabal the Teire, to be Mekabal the Gilu, the Kuz, Tavdim, so the Kim, Alahor, Azeh, and Nachshem ben Aminodov knows that he has to get there. Macht menish ken cheshboinitz. Why? Fal sem ni given ni geya. Say given ni geya, Nachshem ben Aminodov really, really wanted to go to Har Sinai to be Mekabal the Teire, Kim Shutei. And there were no menis v'yikuv in Kim Shutei. I a kashe, a pilpul, smach the shtois. So he went. He had an urgency. There was an urgency by Nachshem and Aminodo that he couldn't, they couldn't stop him from going into the Yamsa. The Rebbe had this urgency for Bia Samashiach. No Hamalu, no Hamal. Vifla Shir Aiden Vegan Mashiach. The Rebbe told someone once, they say I'm crazy about Mashiach. Vifla Shir Aiden, she gives up the emotion, she gives up that's right. When you have to get there. Like Moshe mentioned before, the marshal of a chasana, when you have to travel to an Adatam chasana, the truth is we always look forward to the next event in our lives. Bochen yeshiva, I sit in Bochen and yeshiva, they're right now looking forward to the next off Shabbos, to the next vacation, to the next uh, end of the Zman, to camp, and then when you're camp, you're looking for. we're always looking forward to the next event in our lives. For someone who's traveling to a simcha, traveling to a simcha. And even at Bochum, Yungelite, we're always, we, the, 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 the regular Tmidim Kesidram sometimes gets monotonous, and we're looking for action. But we're looking forward to the action. Is there this urgency that we're supposed to be looking forward to when Mashiach comes? If we have this urgency, if we have it in us, just like Nachshem ben Aminodav had that urgency within him, and he went all the way in the Yamsuf up to Mesiris Nefesh, if we have that urgency to get to the other side of our Yamsuf, which is this Golos, to get to the other side of Golos, because the Nishtrecht, as Mashiach, Nish Gekumenayim, and the Nishtrecht that he didn't come yesterday, and the Chas V'Sholem, Zichya Nishtrecht that he Chas V'Sholem if he doesn't come tonight, then the focus of Tut Altsvah Sirkent completely changes. Then it's for real. It's not just because the Rebbe said tut alts was kent, and we make checks on a list that now I did tut alts was kent, and I learned in Yonig Gulu Mashiach and I was Mekad of Ayid and Mekad of Nochayid, etc. etc. It becomes a chilek of us and it becomes something that we want. It's very hard. It's not easy to say that we can create by ourselves this type of urgency that we really, really want Mashiach as if Kaviyochel time is running out. Someone who has a tzara feels time is running out. How, how can we do that? It's very, very difficult. And I believe everyone said this, and I'm going to repeat it again. There's really, at the end of the day, only one way to really, really feel this urgency and this koch and this bren that Moshiach really needs to come and we want Moshiach. There's only one way. Because there's only one yid, one person that we know of that felt that urgency and shared it with his chassidim and shared it with Kal Yisrael. And the only way to do that is if we continuously connect ourselves with the Rebbe and we continuously learn the Rebbe's Teire, not specifically only the Rebbe's Teire about the Yoni Mashiach, the Emes in every single Sikha that you learn or every Maimer that you learn, somewhere, somehow, the Rebbe's Koch and Sipir to be as Mashiach. And the truth is, like, in Modern and Shabbos, Sipiso the Yeshua is one of the questions they're going to ask. And what are you going to answer? For one second, Sipiso the Yeshua at one moment in my life, or even three times a day in davening, I said, That's called Sipiso the Yeshua. If you even thought Peter Shamil is, you're not Yoitse with that. Sipiso means Yeshua means, did you continuously have Sipiso the Yeshua? And it was one year that demonstrated that Kipshut Te Mamesh, the Rebbe. Whenever the Rebbe spoke, even the Rebbe spoke once, I remember. We, we heard the tape right after the day of together with Chatzko Besser and then and, and Ronald Lauder went to the Rebbe but in Poland and the Rebbe was talking there I don't see a future in 50 years and the Rebbe said but the Meister I am a firm the Rebbe used the word I'm a firm believer I think that was the Russian in English I'm a firm believer in the coming of Mashiach that it's not even gonna we're not even talking about 50 years or long term because I'm a firm believer in the coming of Mashiach the only way, I think, at least personally for me, that I should create by myself this urgency, as if we're looking forward to something, and create, and then want to have 2,000 as we can, is to connect ourselves with the Rebbe Sichis and learn the Rebbe Sichis the whole time, whatever we could, as Yossi Serbransky, my friend, mentioned before about Project Likud Sichis, etc. There's a story, we're celebrating soon, Bey's ear, Chathila Riber, the Meledes, the Fetish of the Rebbe Marash. There's a story told 
um, about the Reb Marash. And actually, the, the Litvish Oilam have a similar story with Rabbi Israel Salanter. I'm not sure which one is true. They both could be true because the Vort is MS regardless. But a Chosid came to the Reb Marash or to Rabbi Israel Salanter. He came and asked, he said, I have one hour to learn. That's all. What should I learn? Should I learn a Blat Gemara? Or should I learn a Maimach Sidis or the Misnagi, the Litvak asked, should I learn Musr? He asked the Misnagi, should I learn Musr in this hour? Very good question. If someone came to me and asked me this question, uh, one of two things I would probably answer. I would answer, Musr learned the whole hour in order to one Kav, one Sugya. You could split it. Learn Abyssal Niglin, Abyssal Chsidis, Abyssal Musr, and Abyssal Gemara. Or maybe I would tell him, learn completely. You have one hour to learn. That's not Kids of Shukhanorach, regular Shukhanorach, Al Tereb Shukhanorach, Abyssal Gemara, you have to know what to do. Later, Samaisa Shayyansun. But the Rebbe Manash told him the following, and they say the same thing about the Bissal Salantar. He told him, spend the whole hour learning Chassidus. And the Chassid looks at the Rebbe Manash, Pavodik, Gemara is nothing. It was before Temchit Mimim, but if it would have been after Temchit Mimim, he could have tied it, Giba Kuk. In Yeshiva Stemchit Mimim, most of the day we learn Gemara, we only learn Chassidus Achelik. Now it's three hours, it used to be four hours. So the Rebbe Manash told him the following If you learn a full hour of Chassidus, you will find the time to learn the Gemara the rest of the day or part of the day. And similarly, they say to Bisro Salante said, if you learn an hour of Musir, you'll find the time to learn the Shtiko Gemara. What does that mean? That if you connect yourself to the Emes, if you connect yourself to the Limud, the Maimur Chsidis, that itself will open up your heart and open up your Rots and open up your Neshama to do everything else that you're supposed to do. Because you connect yourself, Mamish, to the Emes. If we learn the Rebbe Sichis, we connect ourselves with the Rebbe Sichis, and we see the Rebbe's Kochim Moshiach, that's not going to be enough. That's going to make us want to toot out Svosir Kentzus and Rabbeinu Moshiach. That's what it's going to do. Because I'm elect with them the whole time, and it builds up by us this urgency, Mamish. That will allow us to do Nocha Mitzvah, Nocha Mitzvah, and never to sit lazy, because we're always thinking, Nocha Mitzvah, and the Rebbe would bring this word all the time from the Rambam and Uchus Chua. That one Maise, one Dibur, even one Machshove could be Machrias, Kolo, Elam, Kuloi, Lekavschus, Mamish. But we have to care. We have to care. And when do we care? We care when we connect ourselves to the Rebbe. In one of the Sikhs this week of the project, the Kutasikhs, which if, if Rabbi Yossi mentioned it, I'll, I'll make a plug in for that also. It's a made in the opportunity, especially, especially with the app that exists. There's no excuse. For anyone not to be able to win the project with the Sikhs, whether you can listen to all kinds of shooting, fast shooting, slow shooting, in depth shooting, it's there's really no excuse. Um, the left mit the So, on this week, the Sikh and Pasha Akhri, one of the Sikhs, the Rebbe discussed there, it's Pasha Akhri, but Tim Kippur, the Rebbe discusses the Dinian of Chuba. A whole ariches of different madregis and Chuba. One Sikh is about Zdenis Nasuk Isochis, the other Sikh is what's uh, the Rikirin from Chuba. And the Rebbe quotes the Dal Rebbe in Tanya that Iker Inyan Atshuva is Aziva Sachet Bilvad. That's the whole Inyan of Tshuva, is Aziva Sachet Bilvad. Ay Tshuva is Kapora. So the Rebbe says that's not the Iker Etzim Atshuva, which means that Be'etzim, if the Ebishter wouldn't make Mechaper on a Yid for doing the Aveda through Tshuva, Oichet, you still have to do Tshuva because Tshuva is Aziva Sachet Bilvad. Ay, you'll get, you'll get an Oinish, and Brera, you'll get an Oinish. Lamay said, the Rebbe Shedach HaGuter, and together, when we do tshuva, the Ebesh is also going to be mechaper. Now, how is mechaper? It depends on the madrege of tshuva. And the Rebbe is mazmir bariches, and he uses the lashenis. What's aziva sachet bulvad? Aziva sachet bulvad means mikanu lahaba. That's what aziva sachet bulvad means. Charota ala ovar, that's a different part of tshuva. That's to try to erase the mafreya, the aveda that you did, in order to save us from the oinshin, or to add zdainis nasli kizokis, or kishgogis, whichever madrege of tshuva you'll be. Oh, but Aziva Sachet Bilvad is only Mikan Ulahaba. This is Mamish in sync with the Rebbe's Mahalach Bechlal. There's no looking back. We have to go forward. We have to continue doing what we need to do, only going forward and not looking back. And when we feel the Emerson Koch and the Emerson urgency as Feltun's Moshiach, and if it really bothers us, then there's no looking back. How come it didn't come till now? We tried yesterday. How many caches? People can have caches. How are you talking? We're going to bring Mashiach. We need an answer. The Rebbe's Avedah didn't work. The Rebbe said, all these caches, they're good caches. Who knows if we have answers? Who knows if we need the answers? And I know 
and I was hearing a lot about this beautiful Indian, this beautiful Mifza, um, a similar to like a, a, like a, 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 a crowdfunding, so to speak, of doing mitzvahs. And I think they published uh, before the website and the, a promo for it. And I just want to give a plug in for it, a word for it, because it's a made of Because the Nekuda by the Rebbe was so much mitzvah, the Rajba of mitzvah, the Farsim Oisei mitzvah. The Chlal, it's hepech to think that every time someone does something good, you have to advertise. The Rebbe was extremely, extremely important to the Rebbe to advertise every, every good deed that we do, every maizim toivim that we do. Maizim, why? Because kipshuto imimenu, yiru, v'chein yastu, for no other reason. And this Indian, I could do one mitzvah, two mitzvahs, three mitzvahs, ten mitzvahs, and I do it myself. And the Ebishter knows, and the Rebbe knows, and I know, and I know that I'm doing what's right. But the tremendous effect that you could have when you post it and you tell other people that you did this mitzvah, and you did another mitzvah, and another mitzvah, and you create your own page, and you bring other people to also do the mitzvahs, the snowball effect is tremendous, mamish. And it's important if Gantz, Klal Yisrael, not just Chassidim, Chassidim Chabad, Mashiach is not a Lubavitcher Indian. Although the Rebbe once did say by Fabrengen that there was a person, a woman who was sitting behind Tuchsidim and her daughter asked her, who are they? They're the ones that really, really believe in Moshiach. But this is not a Lubavitcher Indian. Every single Yid of Klal Yisrael, not just us, other Yidin have to also join and get other Yidin who will in turn get other Yidin who will get other Yidin. This is a pyramid without the bluff, a pyramid without the fakeness that we could bring more Yidin and more Yidin to do mitzvahs. And just to sign up takes a minute. And when we sign up and we get another Yid to do another mitzvah, the fact is we also get schar. That's just icing on the cake. And we hear Otzen that we're, 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 we're commemorating this day that the Rebbe gave us this tresel and gave us this shokel, which the truth is every Yom Tiv, I want to conclude it's getting late, every Yom Tiv, there's a cycle for every Yom Tiv. The Abish to realize somehow that you need every single year to go through every single Yom Tov. You need a Rosh Hashanah every year, you need a Sukkot every year, you need a Pesach every year, we need a Yud Shvat every year, we need a Gimel Tamas every year, we need a Yud Alf Nisan every year. Because if you if you go far too far without the Hisoyerus, apparently the Abish did realize that a Yid, a Nefesh, a Nefesh of Bahamas can forget. So it's important that it's now again Chof Ches Nisan that we relive and reawaken by ourselves this emesid shukya and this emesid of emesid otzen and emesid desire to bring Mashiach and a mitzvah Hashem we should be zeichet to zenzich mitnerebim dolo mato in aguv gashmi lamata me asorat fochim v'hu yigolenu shkoyev.